Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. In this video, I wanted to talk about what Asians think of German food. But before I start this video, I need to make a few disclaimers because obviously I'm not representative of all Asians and this is only my opinion, it's just food. So don't have to take it really seriously, don't have to get offended. Secondly, um, this list is not comprehensive because I have not tried all German foods before and this is only going to be a review of what I have had so far. And thirdly, um, I define German food as food that people in Germany eat, not necessarily food originating from Germany. Because for example, schnitzel comes from Austria, but German people eat schnitzel a lot, so for me, it's German food. So now that we got that out of the way, I'm going to start with talking about the main dishes. The first main dish I have is goulash. And goulash is basically a beef stew or soup, depending on the consistency you make. It doesn't even have to be beef, it could be pork or even horse meat. Goulash originally comes from Hungary, but German people eat it, so um, for me it's German food. And the thing about goulash is that everyone has their own recipe, so it's hard to just give one rating or one opinion on goulash. Um, but I must say that the ones I've had so far were okay. Uh, but some of the ones I've had were really salty. I think I've never had a really good homemade one, so um, I think I really want to try that, but so far I'd give it 3 out of 5 pretzels. Next on the list we have the famous schnitzel. Schnitzel is breaded pork cutlet and like I've said, it's originally from Austria, but it's super common in Germany. The problem with schnitzel is that it's a massive disappointment for me because most of the ones I get are really dry and I think they pound it thin to make it make the texture more tender or something but this makes schnitzel really dry or at least the ones I've had before uh, however the best one I've had was homemade and um, it wasn't pounded so thin and it was really juicy it was really good but um, I've also been to fancy German restaurants before and I've had a schnitzel and most of the time it's a massive disappointment because the idea of it is really good and it looks good but most of the time it's going to be dry so for that i'd have to deduct points and give it three out of five pretzels next we have something called krustenbraten krustenbraten is grilled or baked pork shoulder and if it's done right the skin of the pork shoulder should be really crispy like chips, like you should hear the other person chewing it and also the meat should be really juicy and I must say it's really good. I really like it a lot and for that I'd give it 5 wow. out of 5 pretzels. Next we have something less well known called zenf ayah. Zenf ayah is basically uh, eggs and potatoes in a creamy mustard sauce. I think it's really good. I think it's like a comfort food like mac and cheese and I think kids really like it but I think I like it too and I'd give it 4 out of 5 pretzels. Next we have something called rouladen. Uh, rouladen is beef rolls and basically what you do is uh, you have a thin piece of beef and you roll it with bacon and pickles and I think some people put carrots in it and you cook it and you serve it. The problem with rouladen is that I think the piece of beef outside tends to be really dry and actually the best one I've had was homemade and someone put a piece of pig fat inside of it which compensated for the dry piece of beef and it's fine but I think I'm generally neutral about this like I'm not that picky and it's okay and I'd give it three out of five pretzels. Next we have kolsuppe, this means cabbage soup, and like goulash, I think everyone has their own secret family recipe, so it's hard to give one rating for all of these different variations, uh, but based off the one that I've had, which was homemade, um, I'd say it's pretty good. The one I had was really acidic, which I liked, and based off of that, I'd give it 4 out of 5 pretzels. Next we have one of my absolute favorite German foods called Kartoffelpuffer. This is potato pancake uh, made out of potatoes and onions and um, you could also add a bit of bacon bits to it. And it's so good and it's commonly paired with applesauce but you could also eat it with ketchup like I do but I think people most likely eat it with applesauce here. I give it 5 wow. out of 5 pretzels because I love it. 
Also, it's unlike anything I've ever tried before. It's not really comparable to hash brown because it's not a hash brown. But I think Koreans also have a variation of potato pancake, but I think they, they grind the potato into a puree, whereas the German version is um, grinded or cut into thin slices. So the texture is inherently different. Next, we have a pretty famous German dish called Schweinshaxe. This is roasted pork knuckle. Um, and I think I've had it once or twice, but I must say, I think this is more of a restaurant food than homemade food because I think it's messy to make. I'm pretty neutral about it, but I think my mom likes it. And if you do it right, uh, the, insides, the insides are going to be really juicy and the outside should be crispy, like Kostenbraten, I guess. Like I said, I had it once or twice while doing tourism in Germany and I think it doesn't hurt to try it if you're okay with pork or if you like pork. I'd give it 3.5 pretzels out of 5 because I'm pretty neutral about this and I'm not crazy about pork knuckle. Next we have Spargel, which is white asparagus in Germany. And correct me if I'm wrong, it's eaten during the spring and summer season. And the thing about Spargel is that it's pretty expensive, so it's not like a dish you'd make every day. It's more of a special occasion dish and it's commonly paired with hollandaise sauce. Um, because it's so expensive, I've only had it once and the one time I had it was really good. During summer and spring season, you'll see big machines in a supermarket called Rewe or maybe other supermarkets have it too, but these machines only exist to peel the outer layer uh, of Spargel and you can also make soup out of it. And I'd give this dish, the Spargel dish with hollandaise sauce, four out of five pretzels. Next, I have a dish called Maciej's Teller. Um, Maciej's is herring soaked in brine, and this dish is served with potatoes. And the thing is, I really like herring, I like fish, and uh, but the problem is I had a really bad experience with this Maciej's Teller before. I was in a fancy German restaurant and I ordered this dish, but the thing is the fish was so salty. It was like eating salt directly and it just ruined this experience for me. And um, I think the person did not rinse it, but I'm not sure if you have to rinse it, but it was so salty. I could not eat it. And I'm a person that likes salty food. And due to this experience, I'm going to have to deduct points. So I'm going to give this three out of five pretzels. Next, we have something I think also less well known called grüne Soße, which directly translates to green sauce. And this is a, a creamy herbal sauce uh, commonly paired with eggs and potatoes. And I'm neutral about it, like it's okay, I'd eat it. If you make it for me, I'll eat it. But I know an Asian person who did not really like this dish because she did not like the particular... She did not like the herb mixture in this sauce. And for me, like I said, I'm pretty neutral about it. It's fine. And to be fair, I think Asians tend to like hot dishes. And this one is cold, so for that, I think I'd give it 3 out of 5 pretzels. Next, we have a dish from the pizza family called Flammkuchen. I think it is originally from France and um, it's basically thin pizza. And I think it's pretty good. I'm not a huge fan of pizza, but I really like, I really like Flammkuchen. I'd definitely eat it if I were to be visiting Germany for the very first time. And I would give this four out of five pretzels. Next up, we have a regional dish from the state of Hessen called Weckewerk. It is German sausage with potatoes and pickles. And honestly, um, German sausage, uh, this type of sausage at least, and this type of potatoes, it's definitely not my thing. I want to give it two out of five pretzels, but I think other people will like it. Like, it's too harsh, so I'd give it three out of five pretzels. Um, I would definitely try it if... I had the opportunity, if I were you. I'm just not a big boiled potato fan and uh, I'm not crazy about this particular type of German sausage, so 
that is why I give it three out of five pretzels. Next, I have a food that I really hate called frikadelle. I know I shouldn't say hate because hate is a strong word, but I just really, I just don't like it. It's terrible. Frikadellen are meatballs, but they're not like, they're like flat meatballs or burgers and they have unknown origins, but it is a very common food in Europe, I think. I like meat, I like meatballs, I like burgers, but I really don't like frikadellen because the ones you get here are pretty terrible and they're pretty dry and it's just not good. I don't want you to think that I'm insulting the country's food, but I'm not because it has unknown origins anyway. But the problem is that the ones you get in the supermarkets are so bad and they're pretty dry. I just don't know how to explain it. I've had one decent one before and the thing is the probability that you get a bad one is way higher than the probability that you end up having a good one. So. I'm going to have to give this one out of five pretzels. Next, we have a dish called kasla. It is slightly smoked and salted pork. And I am i don't have any opinion on this. It's, I'm pretty neutral. I'd give it three out of five um, pretzels. And then next, we have something called bak camembert, uh, which is baked, breaded, baked, bread, breaded, baked, breaded camber, camber cheese, typically paired with lingonberry sauce which is kind of like cranberry but it's not cranberry um it's the sauce you get with ikea meatballs i really love it i'd give it five wow. out of five it's really good especially if you like cheese and melted cheese and breaded breaded things like um fried chicken it's so good that was everything for the main dish category now we're going to talk about sides the first side i'm going to talk about is of course sauerkraut I personally love sauerkraut. I love it. Um, it's German fermented cabbage. It's so good. And the best one you can get, in my opinion, the best one you can buy is from Hengstenberg. You can get it at Rewe. It's so good. And wow. five out of five pretzels. The next side we have is a sibling or the sister of sauerkraut called Rotkraut. It is fermented red cabbage. And um, unlike sauerkraut, it's less sour, but it's sweeter. Uh, so if you don't like acidity, uh, you'd probably like this one. And I think it's pretty healthy. And you can pimp it up with apples and some raisins and cinnamon. Uh, also, the best one you can buy is from Hengstenberg, in my opinion. I really like it. I give that wow. five out of five pretzels as well. The next side is called Klöse. It is chewy potato balls and I like it but you can't eat it directly I, I mean you can but you shouldn't you should eat it with a sauce because it would be pretty um, boring without a sauce so it's typically served with gravy or a sauce and I like it I'd give it four out of five pretzels the next and the last side I have on this list is called Bismarck herring I don't know why I put it in sides because I don't know where else to put it it's Probably not a side, but I put it as a side. Uh, it is basically pickled herring, so it's sour and it's typically typically eaten with bread and it's good. I'd give it four out of five pretzels. Now we've come to the next category, which is stall food. And by stall food, I mean food you get at Christmas markets, food you get at festivals, so not in restaurants. And the first food of this category is obviously bratwurst and currywurst. I can't make a video and not talk about this. Um, it's grilled German sausage, uh, mostly out of pork, but I think you can get it in beef as well. You can also get it chopped in a curry sauce and you can also have it with potato chips. I want to give it three out of five pretzels just because I'm not crazy about this type of sausage, but Again, I think most people will like it and it's a typical comfort food. Children like it. I guess four, three to four out of five pretzels. The next stall food we have on the list is called Speckkuchen, which is bacon cake. But it's comparable, it's more comparable with the quiche. I think the quality varies depending on 
who you buy from so it's not like it's I've had bad ones and good ones basically and the good ones for the good ones I'd give it four out of five pretzels and the top layer you can see uh, I think is bacon fat and I'm not sure if it's deep fried or fried so if you know please tell me in the comments down below the next I put on the list is called Spätzle. This is egg noodles and unlike Asian, typical Asian noodles, these noodles are shorter. They kind of look like scrambled eggs and I've had it once on a festival, but to be honest, I don't remember how it tastes like. And if I don't remember, it means it must have been all right. So it must have probably been around three to four out of five pretzels. The next category I have is the Metzga category, which is basically food you get from the butcher shop. The first item of this category is called Alavost. It is hard German pork sausage, and I like it a lot. I want to give it five wow. out of five pretzels because it's good. And uh, you should not eat the outside layer because I think it's paper. I'm not sure if it's paper, but you should remove the outside layer if you ever try this should definitely try one. I like the air dried ones rather than the smoked ones because I think the smoky ones kind of cover up the pork taste. So next on the list, we have Leberwurst. It is um, liver sausage. And as, a, as an Asian, I don't have any problems with these organs. So I think it's good. I really like it. I'd give it four out of five pretzels and uh, you can get it in a glass. Uh, so you can spread it on your bread or you can also get it in a sausage form, but it's also pretty It's pretty soft. So it's also meant to be spreadable next in the category. We have blutwurst, which is blood sausage Again as an Asian, I don't have any problems with eating organs or innards So I'd give it four out of five pretzels. It's really good. I like it and then next we have is something called Leberkäse which literally translates to liver cheese. But this must be the biggest lie ever in the history of Germany because this food neither, neither, neither has liver nor cheese inside. What it is, is meat that is blended into a really fine consistency. I guess it's like spam, but I'm not I like spam, but I don't like I don't like Leberkäse. I'm not a fan of it, so I'd give it two out of five pretzels. But if you've never tried it, you should try it because who knows, you might like it. Up next, we have a pretty controversial food called Gehaktis or Met, depending on which region you live in. It is raw pork, and it's typically eaten with bread. I love it. It's so good and i've also made sushi with it before if you're not afraid if you want to be a risk taker you should definitely try it so the thing is when i first arrived in germany i saw this in a shop and i was really intrigued like it looked like raw pork and i was i was intrigued and i wasn't sure if i should buy it but then I saw this granny eating it, so I went for it and I never looked back afterwards. I know you shouldn't eat it a lot because it could be dangerous if there's bacteria on the meat, but I think German standards are great, so I Wow! I eat it anyway. The last item we have on this list is called Fleisch Salat. Um, it is ham with mayonnaise and uh, pickles. Uh, I think the ones you get in supermarkets aren't that great, but if you get it from the butcher's shop, it's really good. I give this 4 out of 5 pretzels. Now we've come to the last category, which is desserts. And I know I am missing a lot of food because I haven't tried everything. And I also know that I'm missing out a massive category, which is bakeries, because I, I, I don't eat a lot of that stuff. But anyway, again, this is a review of what I've tried so far. And the first one of the list is uh, called Schmannkuchen. Schmand is a German milk product and it's not comparable to anything that you know if you're not in Germany. Uh, it's not like yogurt, it's not like cheese, but it is a milk product. And Schmandkuchen is also typically made with mandarin oranges. It doesn't have to be that, but uh, most of the ones I've eaten 
are paired with mandarin oranges and i really like it i give it five wow. out of five uh, pretzels next on the list i have quark beishin so uh these are cork balls and again i think quark is a milk product that is um made in germany and i'm not sure if other countries have this but asian countries definitely don't have this maybe i'm wrong but i've never seen this in asia and these balls are comparable to donuts but in my opinion they're so much better than donuts i love these balls i give them five, wow. out of five pretzels next up we have the americana which is translated to the american i don't know why it's called the american but it is a glazed cookie cake thing i don't know if it's a cookie or a cake because the consistency or texture is somewhere in between i like it a lot but it's leaned towards the sweet side it's really sweet because of the sugar glazing so i give it four out of five pretzels next on the list we have something called the frankfurter kranz which is a specialty of frankfurt and uh, it is a sponge cake covered with caramel covered brittle nuts i'm not a nut fan but these nuts are so good it's a really good cake you should have it you should try it if you ever visit the region i'm not sure if they have it outside of frankfurt but the one i had was really good i was really positively surprised i give this five, wow. out of five pretzels the next item we have is called the balina they are jam filled donuts with no hole i used to like it a lot but i think i'm liking it less now especially after i discovered the quackbärchen i'm eating them a lot less now it's okay i give it three out of five pretzels the final item I have on this list is called Stollen. It's a fruit bread cake and it is originally from Dresden uh, and it is typically eaten during Christmas time. And for me, it's really sweet. And there's also a variation of marzipan, but I'm not a fan of marzipan. So I give this three out of five pretzels but if you asked someone else like my mom my mom really likes these she would give these five wow. out of five pretzels so it all depends on your own taste so that was everything so far for my german food review video um if you have anything that you want me to try comment down in the comment section below again this video is just purely for entertainment and i do not represent the opinion of asians obviously don't take it too seriously again i know that i'm missing a lot of food but if you enjoyed this video drop me a like down below i hope you have a nice day see you in the next video bye <laughs>